Hey everyone, it's Heather here and I am going to do a little reading and activity with you. This is actually what I did with our lunch bunch yesterday and I meant to record it but I forgot so I thought I would record it now and then we thought we would do another follow-up activity at our next lunch bunch. So if you didn't make that lunch bunch but you still want to participate next week then you could watch this video. So the first thing is we're going to listen to a story called Mouse Counts. That's all about some mice who are playing in a field and then taking a nap and a snake who wants to eat them and you'll see what happens. So take a listen to that and watch and follow along and then I will come back. Okay, thanks. Bye. Mouse Count Written and illustrated by Ellen Stoll Walsh One fine day, some mice played in the meadow. They were careful to watch for snakes. But when the mice got sleepy, they forgot about snakes. And they all took naps. While they slept, a hungry snake went looking for dinner. On his way, he found a nice big jar. I will fill this jar with dinner, he said. It wasn't long before he found three mice, little warm and tasty, fast asleep. First, I will count them, and then I will eat them up, said the snake. Mouse count, one. Two, three. He dropped them into the jar, but he was very hungry. Three mice were not enough. Soon he found four more mice, little, warm, and tasty, fast asleep. And he counted them. Four. Five. Six. Seven. But the snake was very, very hungry and seven mice were not enough. At last, he found three more mice, little, warm, and tasty, fast asleep. And he counted them. Eight. Nine. to eat you up, little warm and tasty, said the snake. Wait, said one of the mice, the jar isn't full yet. And look at the big mouse over there. The snake was very greedy. He hurried off to get the big mouse. And while he was gone, the mice rocked the jar one way, and another way, and another way, until over it went. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one. The 
the little mice uncounted themselves and ran home. The snake reached the big mouse, but it was only a cold, hard rock. And when he got back, the jar was empty. Now that you've heard the story, let's talk through it and we're going to act out the story as we talk about it. So if you remember, there were, how many mice were there to begin with? Do you remember? That's right, there were 10 mice. So I have right here on my desk a piece of green paper that's the grass the mice are playing in and I have 10 mice. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so there are ten mice and then the snake comes along and he at first just sees, does anyone remember how many he sees at first and how many he takes? That's right, he takes three and he puts them in a jar. So I'm gonna use this as my jar. I'm gonna go down like this so you can see them and he's gonna take one, two, three. So there are three mice in the jar and how many are there still on the grass? Let's count them. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there were 10, but he put three in the jar and now there are seven left, okay? So then, do you remember what happens next? The snake is still hungry. And so he decides to go get more. And this time, does he remember, do you remember how many he grabs? That's right, he takes four. But the thing that was interesting in this story, and you can go back and listen to it if you want, when he starts putting them in the jar, he doesn't start counting at the number one, he starts counting at the number four because he already has three in the jar and he's saying, well, how many am I gonna have all together in the jar? So he already has three, so when he counts four more, Let's take these four here. I'm going to separate them out. And when he counts them and puts them in the jar, he counts starting with the number four because he has three. And then he says four, five, six, seven. So he had three mice in the jar and then he added four more. And now in the jar, he has seven. So three plus four equals seven. And how many are left on the grass? There were 10 at first, and now we know there are seven in the jar. So how many are left? See if you can remember, but if not, let's look. There are three left. One, two, three. So of course, the next thing that happens in the story is that the snake goes back and takes those last three mice. And again, when he starts counting, he doesn't start with one, he starts with the number where he left off. So how many were in here right now? Seven, that's right. And so when he counts, he starts with eight because eight comes after seven. So he says, all right, I've got seven in the jar and I'm gonna add more. Now this is eight, nine, 10. So he has 10 mice in the jar. And how many mice are left on the grass? None or zero, right? The number zero means none. All right, but then the mice are really clever and they say to the greedy snake, wait, wait, 
the jar is not full. You need to get more mice. And he says that there's a big mouse over in the field. So the snake leaves and the mice shake the jar and shake the jar and shake the jar inside and they spill it over. And they all end up back on the grass and scurry away. So now we have zero mice in the jar and 10 mice on the grass and hopefully running away and hiding. All right, so at our next lunch bunch, we are gonna do some more activities with this book. So if you are coming, see if you can bring something that would represent a jar. And I think it's good to be clear so you can see through it. So I just used a glass, but you can use like a plastic cup, any kind of clear thing or a jar if you have one. Something to represent mice. I just used little game pieces. So have 10 of those. You could use pennies, you could use, you know, any kind of little object. And then I like having a piece of paper to show the grass. So I could say, well, this is the grass and then this is the jar. So I'm really excited for our next lunch bunch so we can keep working on this. I hope to see you there. All right, bye.